When will my green card arrive? Hi, I'm Jim Hacking, immigration lawyer, practicing law throughout the United States out of our offices here in St. Louis, Missouri, and in San Diego, California. So after your interview, and after you've provided all the evidence that the immigration officer is going to need in order to approve your case, the question then often becomes, when will I actually get my green card? Now, on the marriage-based side for adjustment of status, if the case is approved, usually your green card will come maybe two weeks, three weeks after that, um, sometimes faster, sometimes you get it in about a week. In non-marriage-based cases, so in uh, asylum cases or employment-based cases, they do sometimes take a little bit longer to get that green card. So the first thing is, if you sign up for electronic alerts, you get that electronic alert, then usually your green card and your I-485 approval notice will follow you know, two weeks, three weeks after. Now, if you were uh, counselor processing, if you got your green card based on marriage and you came through the embassy, then you have to make sure that you pay that Ellis fee. And if you pay your Ellis fee, then hopefully when you get to the United States, your green card will arrive, say, a month or two later. Now, sometimes it takes a little bit longer and sometimes USCIS screws it up and sometimes the post office screws up the receipt of your green card. Now, this is a real headache. In the old days, it was almost automatic that your green card would come to the right address, that there weren't problems. But lately with USPS, the United States Postal Service, and with USCIS, the, the Citizenship and Immigration Service, we've been seeing more and more problems with the green card actually arriving. We've had people receive the approval notice and not the green card. We've had people approve, receive the green card and not the approval notice. Now, of course, what you really want is that green card. In your green card, if you do receive it, you want to make sure that it has all the right information. So you always want to make sure to check that everything is correct. Um, but if your green card doesn't come, or if your green card gets sent to some other address because someone moved, or because USPS screwed up, you might have to file for a replacement green card and then you do that by filing an I-90. That's a big hassle. You want to do that sort of as a last resort. If your green card doesn't come and you're thinking that maybe it got lost or if it comes with incorrect information, you're going to need to call USCIS and try to get to a tier two officer to ask them, what should I do? I never received my green card or my green card came with errors. What should I do? And then follow their instructions. You might have to file an I-90. Hopefully you won't have to pay for it yourself. Hopefully there wasn't any mistake on your end and that it was a USCIS mistake. You're going to have to file for a, a replacement green card and you do that by filing that I-90. If you have questions about this or if you're struggling with trying to find out where your green card is, we might be able to help. Give us a call at 314-961-8200. You can email us at info at hackinglawpractice.com. Be sure to join us in our Facebook group, which is called Immigrant Home. Also, we have our YouTube channel you can subscribe to that you can get updates whenever we make our new daily video. And then of course, on Tuesdays and Thursdays, usually at noon central time, we're live in our Facebook group and on our YouTube channel, answering as many of your questions as we can in just one hour. Thanks a lot, and we'll see you next time.